guys. Welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Before we jump into the dynamics of breathing, I quickly want to review the ideal gas law. The ideal gas law is PV equals nRT. And this equation helps us understand that pressure and volume are inversely related. For instance, if you were to decrease the pressure in this equation, the volume would have to increase in order to remain constant to the other side of the equation. With that understanding in mind, let's see what happens to the volume of the lungs during inhalation. What happens is the diaphragm, as seen here, will contract downward and the intercostal muscles will contract in order to expand the rib cage, as seen here with these arrows. And what's that, what that is going to do is expand the volume in the lungs. And as we know, if the volume in the lungs increases, the pressure must decrease. And air always flows from high pressure to low pressure. Therefore, the high pressure out here is going to want to travel to the low pressure in the lungs. Therefore, air will travel in this direction, allowing you to breathe in. When we breathe out, the opposite process occurs. The diaphragm relaxes, and the intercostal muscles relax as well, causing the rib cage to depress and the diaphragm to move up, decreasing the volume in the lungs. This is going to cause the volume inside the lungs to decrease, and therefore the pressure inside the lungs will increase, which means the air will want to travel towards the area of low pressure outside the body going this direction as we exhale. Let's take a second look at the question stem. Pick the correct statement describing the movement of the diaphragm and intercostal muscles during inspiration. If we look at answer choice A, it looks to be the correct answer. The diaphragm and intercostal muscles contract, the diaphragm moves downwards increasing the volume, and the intercostal muscles pull up expanding the rib cage. All of these together are going to increase the volume inside the lungs, causing the pressure to decrease, causing the air to flow from the high pressure outside the lungs to the low pressure inside the lungs. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.